Hello everyone, Etcetera here bringing you episode 7 of Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out Edition, a game by Koi. So, we're in a very good standing. We're at 13 dupes, we've got tons of barbecue right now, 49,000 kcal, so I'm definitely going to take another dupe soon. And we're at 73 days, so I cannot imagine that we would not be able to complete the carnivore achievement. Okay, so this is going very well, and we finally have some hydrogen power and some oxygen. So one of the first things that I'm going to want to do is to stop using this and this. So what I was thinking is right here, we've got some... Oh my god, please click on the pipeline. Thank you. We've got a line right here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go like this, and this, and this, and we're going to say oxygenate those places and you know what why not also go up here like this so this line is going to bring here full time and this line is just going to be taking care of this side of the base i want to bring it down here and in here and in here so let's just see that this and like this and technically, just to make sure, we're going to bring some right here also. <clears throat> okay, so this is this should take care of the oxygen. And this one right now, this one's working. The only reason it's not bringing any oxygen is that the pipe is blocked, okay? Uh, but these, I don't want to work. So right now, I'm just going to severe that line. Don't want these to try and use power. Okay. So now we need to solve this carbon dioxide problem, and we're also going to have a water problem. I thought of a way of solving two of the three problems. I just need to be careful about my bleach stone. Okay, so first off, uh, I want to bring my bleach stone in here because um, <clears throat> it's going to be a more permanent residence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a conveyor loader right here. Okay. I'm going to add a conveyor loader right here. It's going to need connecting. And I'm going to connect the line right here. And this is going to be a conveyor loader that's sweep only and manual. So I'm going to use this when I want to bring something into the water here. Which means I should replace. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to also do this because I'm going to replace this with a normal tile because when the chlorine like when the bleach stone is going to come through here it's going to off gas a little bit and go then go through i don't want it to off gas ever okay for the water i'm then going to take this pump that i'm going to put right here and i'm just going to move the connection to here and the liquid pipe like this right here and then i'm going to deconstruct this and deconstruct uh, well dig this and dig this and let all the water go down here. And I'm going to mop the extra. Okay. For the carbon dioxide. What I'm going to do. Very simple. It's not ideal for now. But I'm going to put two tank right here like this. And I'm going to make these two tanks. I'm going to make these two tanks. Uh, get all of the carbon dioxide. So I'm probably going to have pump carbon dioxide no a pump right here uh, i'm going to be powering with a wire like this and then i'm going to have some gas pipe just like this so basically i'm going to reserve some carbon dioxide because we're going to want it for a rocket but after that, we're going to need some a little bit for a rocket. Two full tanks should be enough. But after that, we can kill all of the carbon dioxide. So the next thing that we're going to do is going to have a filtration mechanism to get rid of the carbon dioxide. Now we have a lot of things to build, though. So we're just going to let these things get built. And we're probably going to prioritize this. Because... The problem with the carbon dioxide right now, it's all here and it's all here. So when people come and eat here, they're gasping for breath every time, which is honestly getting annoying. 
Okay, so we're just going to let that build. Maybe we're going to accelerate a little bit. And we're going to try and not forget our incubation all the time. Oh, Zupet is up. So we can come right here. Turn this on. Come on, Zupet. I don't know where Zupet is. Is he coming? Yes, thank you. So now you're not allowed to go out. You're done with this one, so I can turn this off. Perfect. That's a great start to the day. I finally remembered one thing that I was supposed to do. I also want these to be worked on. Don't worry, I'm going to let you out soon. Okay, and I'm going to have to build a place for the smooth hatch egg. Let's just wait for this to be done. And now we can allow you to go out. Perfect. So all of these are started. Right now... We can only grab carbon dioxide, so that shouldn't be a problem. And what I'm going to let it do is I'm going to let it fill this completely. Oh, and we got an achievement. Let's go see what it is. Cure a sick duplicate of disease. Well, I was going to let a doctor do that at some point, but here's what happened. Remember these things? I took a curative tablet. Someone must have gotten lime long germs or something i don't know what disease get cured by a curative tablet so let me just come here does it talk about curative curate tablet no there's no information about curative tablet so it's it fixes something but i don't know why what okay so if i'm looking here yeah this is doing good so this is slowly pumping all of the carbon dioxide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. And the moment this pump there is activated. Yeah, you can do this and we can do that. And that. Perfect. So the reason I'm not putting all of I'm not dumping all of it is that until this is built, hey, <laughs> We're going to have our first sweet old barbecue pretty soon. Okay, so this conveyor loader, I'm going to say sweep only for bleach stone and oxalite. And I don't really want anything else and say allow manual use. So now this one, I still need to solve the slime problem. Okay, so slime problem is going to be the next problem. There's just too many problems at the same time. Just one second. So no, no bleach stone here. Like, you know what? Let's turn this one off for now. Then I can come right here. And once this hole is made, we're going to have direct access. Come on. I said we're going to have direct access. Let's just accelerate these processes a little bit. Yeah, they're, the problem is that they have to go up and breathe all the time. So that's kind of the issue that we're facing right now. This is why we need to address this. This whole bottom of the base needs to be carbon dioxide free. And now we can deconstruct all of this because we're not pumping from here. Now we're going to be pumping from here. Oh, and we have the next blueprint. Lisper seed. Oh, I said I wanted another dupe. Okay, so... The next, next other dupe, then. And are these all... Yeah, they're all still lullabied. So we're just going to let that do its thing. And then we can disable this building now. Because this should now be taking... Yes! So we're now feeding oxygen to the base from a second source. So now we have two source feeding oxygen into the base. And we've got the carbon dioxide being exported here. And now I can go and say... Sweep nine here, and then I'm going to say no to the fertile. Uh, no, stop moving. No to the fertilizer, and no to the slime, and no to the sandstone. Did let leave. You know this one. I should have just selected the bleach stone. Now let me check something. See, the slime no longer has any slime lung germ, so I don't even have to do anything with that slime. So what I'm what I'm going to do with that slime, I'm going to say move it here and I'm going to go prioritize that very heavily. Not the deodorizer though, you can go back to seven. 
And the reason I'm going to bring it here is that it's going to huff off gas. But as it off gas, it's just going to like get transformed by the deodorizer on each side. I don't know why you went the way long way. Yeah, this is smarter. So picking up the bleach stone, bringing the bleach stone right here, goes through here. And see, you saw it off gas a little bit. That's what I wanted to stop from happening. Deconstruct that tile because I don't, I want it like that's my OCD side that you guys know about. I need this to be connected. Great. Nine. Let's go. And yeah, the carbon dioxide is being grabbed slowly. So this is, oh, this is looking good. Look at this. Oh, next project is going to be doing the same thing with the chlorine gas, but that's going to probably be a next step. So for that, you know what? Let's just grab some igneous rock right here. And let's deconstruct this right here. Um, how much igneous rock do I want? You know what? I, I want this all across. I'm probably going to need to change the floor here, but that can wait a little bit. Oh, look at this beautiful power. I'm so glad I did that. This is wonderful. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is now we're going to need some liquid reservoir. And what I'm going to do is one, two, three, four. And I'm basically going to switch these pipe and I'm going to go out here. And then it's going to go like this, like this this and then like this so basically i'm gonna give myself a four water tank buffer so that i know when it starts running out and i'm going to also do something uh let me just okay so there are two concern here that might happen you know what let's let's forget this the two concern that we might have is that we might be getting some something that's not water okay uh, so we're going to go like this and then like this. And what we're going to do is right here, I'm going to put a liquid pipe element sensor right here. And then I'm going to put a liquid shutoff right here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some automation on this right here. And I'm going to say, if this is water, let that open. Okay, so it's going to let the water go through. But if it's not anything other than water, it's not going to let it go through. So water sends a green signal. Yeah, perfect. So that's going to make sure that nothing that is not water ever, ever, ever gets in here. Okay, that's that's really honestly super important. Uh, let me just check. Do I have? Yeah, I have a bubble of oxygen here. Okay, so what we're going to do, I don't want that bubble of oxygen to be there. We're going to let it, give it a chance to escape. Okay, so that's a side project. Right here, I'm still storing some carbon dioxide, which is super good. And once we're done storing, we're going to start deleting, but that can be later. But already you can see a massive improvement. We can also... Do this for the water here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a mesh tile right here and i'm going to put a bottle emptier right here and this is where we're going to empty a uh, normal normal water so that we can start uh, emptying every bad place okay and all of this is gone so now we can just finish removing this let's prioritize this a little bit so this is going to drain all of the water from here. Then we can mop everything and we should be good to go. Oh, this is amazing. And look at this. We still have all of this that we can purify and... Oh, you know what? I, I'm i greedy. I want all of the waters. Let's just do this, 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 and this. We're going to set this to liquid water. Nine. But not auto, <clears throat> not auto bottle, because if we auto bottle, it's going to go and grab water from here and bring it back here all the time. 
which we do not want to do. We definitely do not want to do. This is really good. Okay, so in the liquid pipe element sensor, we're going to say water. Then we're going to connect these. Come on. And you see that it's green. So here's what happens. Here's what's going to happen once it starts working. Once it starts working, it's going to let water through. So see, it's a blob of water. So let's put this is on. The moment this here is not water, the moment the thing here is polluted water or brine or something, it's going to shut it off. So now I'm going to be able to go and investigate what's going on with my line. Why is it not water? And then either empty it in another container or do something else with it. So now I'm also going to be making two more of these. Let me just check. Ah, let me just check this, this, <coughs> this, this. Okay, so no, we do not want this one right here. Great. And this is basically going to need to go like this. Hey, I'm preparing something for the future. Once this is connected, I'm going to show you. So this is going to be for cleaning water. Okay, so let's go back here. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is no longer just carbon dioxide. Okay, so I'm going to stop this. I thought I had more carbon dioxide than that, but apparently I do not. Let's just clean this up. Told you, going to be a lot of cleanup in this episode and a lot of setup. So what I want to do is bring that water down here. But to be able to do that, we're going to have to make a little wall. Uh, no, not not yet because I want this to empty. So let's let's do that later. I'm just going to let the water continue pumping. And once this is fully empty and I can do it, I'm going to build a little wall right here. And then I'm just going to, you know what? I should start preparing for it though. Um. So this right here, this and this, this, and let's continue this down right here. And if I go, so this is, I like making like nice looking escalator, like stairs, sorry. So this. Perfect. So once we're ready to pull this water and that water, we should be good. So, But that's a side project. We're not going to concentrate on that. I'm just issuing a couple of dig commands. The same way that I have command here to get to the sky. This is emptying. Okay, now this is a problem. This is the next problem that we need to resolve. And the reason I say that is that this is no longer emitting because it's too full. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be issuing a couple of emergency dig command. And I'm going to go here, here, this, this right here, like that. I want to prioritize this because then that will let me open up right here. So now I'm going to go, there's granite around here, I believe. Is there granite around here? No, I don't know. What is closer by? Oh, let's just stay with let's stay with granite. And then I'm gonna go this, this, this. And like this. So this should start filling with polluted water. And we're going to address the polluted water later. Right now we just want to start accruing it. So this is also a side project that started. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're not going to do the last step. And the reason is that until those two holes are plugged, because I don't want this ice is going to melt at some point. I just want to make sure that it's replaced with uh, an airflow tile. 
so that I can't get through. Perfect. And then we're going to put a mechanized door right here. Uh, that should be good. And I don't know if that's a big enough basin, but to, to begin with, we're, we're going to have to be good with that. But this is just going to be accruing the polluted water that we need. And now that's the reason I didn't start it. We need to wait for this uh, mechanized airlock to be completed. Okay, so coming back here. See, this is processing polluted water because this got below. So that's another automation that worked well. So now we're just like producing the next bit of water for our bristle blossom. Let's come right over here and grab our next dupe. I really don't know what I want for a dupe. I have a rocket pilot right now. I think I want another build dig. So let's just hit it a couple of times, see what we're getting. Build cook, build dig tidying. So oh, you see, like this is not an amazing dupe technically because it's not just plus three construction and just plus one excavation. Uh, but uh, you know what? No, let's just search a little bit more. I'm just going to look at the the dupes with you. Farming, ranching, tidying, cooking, doctoring, rocketry, digging, farming, ranching, tidying, operating, digging. So technically, if I could get something with a doctor, with doctoring, it might be interesting also because we still don't have a doctor. Rocketry, ranching. Not that I need a doctor, but... Uh, Doctor is nice to have once you start getting burnt or hurt or stuff like that. And we're going to have to make a hospital at some point anyway. Tidying, farming, suit wearing, supplying, digging, doctoring, cooking, supplying, operating. This That's a weird mix. Well, it's a sup, up, sup, but with cooking. Refresh, um, tidying, cooking. Ooh, you guys are playing this. I give you permission to get the barbecue. I'm not because I want to get the achievement clean. I'm already having enough things that people are going to say is cheaty, but uh, that's that's fine with me. Uh, rocketry, operating, supplying, decorating, cooking, supplying, tidying, digging, digging, farming, building. It's, those are just a weird combination. I don't want anyone with farming. I already have really good farming. Got a lot of ups up. Uh, decorating, like, who needs a full-time decorator? Not me. Cooking and farming, we already got our farm, so cooking and ranching, we don't want any more ranchers. Uh, digging, doctoring, rocketry, <laughs> that's useless. Suit wearing, supplying, tidying, building. Uh, you know what? This guy is an amazing machinist. Like, but what's the point of having, no, 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 no. Don't let yourself get sidetracked. That's really, you're gonna give me a 14 one? Anyway, let's not get sidetracked. Digging, rocketry, doctoring, wrenching, cooking, decorating, wrenching, digging. I really want another dupe. I just, this is the problem. When you don't know exactly what you want, nothing seems attractive. When you know exactly what you want, the first time you find it, you grab it. So see, build, dig, and doc. Oh no! I'm like build, dig, doctor. Like ups up, doctor makes sense. Build, dig, doctor. That doesn't make sense. Flying, researching, doctoring, digging. Oh my god! Just give me a good dupe. You know what? I don't know what I want, so I'm just going to find something and explain to you what I decided in the end. See you in a moment. Oh, <laughs> 
And I'm back. So decided on another ups up uh, because ups ups are always, always uh, good to have. So I'm going to call this one the up sup duty. And let's print her. Perfect. So let's get back to the game. Kill all of these. We're going to find two replacement. 32. 31 at 19. 49 at 85. Nope. 49. No, that's the one that's 49 at 85. This is 50 at 11. Yeah, this one's gone. This one, 78 at 66. 78 would have been a good one to get rid of, but he's too... Uh, Oh, did you guys see that he was cramped? That's because there was an egg. And until the egg did go up, it let's just check that that's true. Yeah, there was an egg. So until the egg went up, it had the buff. So if it was going down like this, it would get debuff on all of these. Come here, debuff on all of these. Get here, debuff on all of these. That's why you always do external. Okay, sorry. So 47, I also want to get rid of that one. Okay, so that should be a lot more barbecue. Now I'm getting worried. Okay, so let's go to consumable and don't, don't. I'm not going to give you permission to eat anything that's not barbecue. Okay, because right now I need them to be eating barbecue at all time. The moment and food has decayed, see, <gasps> rotten barbecue. It's like. How is that possible? The one thing that must be eaten at all costs is the thing that's dying. So no, you're going to be eating stale barbecue. I don't care that it's stale. I want all of that barbecue to be eaten. Sorry, just a small moment of panic here. I'm really not super happy about what happened here. So let's go see my side project. So this is ready. So now we can go this. Another right here. And this, and this we're going to put at nine now. So this is going to be producing cool salt, uh, cold polluted water. And at least it's going to fill this. This one's still working, but see, we're getting to a point where it's overflowing and it's causing potential issue. So this is also something that we're going to address. The easier thing is probably to going to be to take it out of there and put it in tanks. Like all of these tiles is a thousand kilo. So one, two, three, four, one tank, one, two, three, four, five, two tank, one, two, three, four, five, three. Tank, one, two, three, four, five, three. That's a lot of tanks though. And there's something right here. What's this? Oh, this is our polluted water vent. Okay, so this produces polluted water like this, but at 30 degree and with tons of germs. So it's it's amazing, but you have to be careful how you use it. Oh, this was perfect. I'm so happy with that. Okay, that's taken care of. Let's come back here. That's taken care of. So when it turned red, by the way, it's because there was no water. It was that it was empty. We don't have another type of liquid. Let's just check before. 300 water, 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 none. So yeah, it's all water. Okay, so now that this is built, we can come right here and deconstruct all of these. Where is the oxygen coming from, by the way? This is extremely bizarre. From up here? No, we're not producing oxygen anywhere anymore. I really don't know where the oxygen is coming from. Then we're going to do this. And we're going to fill this with water, which is going to be easy because we're just going to do like this. So this is going to be like a... Uh, what's it called? Like a, a water lock. Sorry. So we're going to make a water lock right here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sending all of the gas in here. So let me just come this and then I'm going to need some water, plumbing, bottle opener, emptier. I 
like this. It's great. And you know what? I'm also going to do that. Just give me a moment. All of this needs to be prioritized. This also, we're going to come back to this project in a moment and see some of my... Oh, that's why some of my chlorine gas got lost on this side. So let's just close this off for now. I don't want my gas to go there anymore. That is really not ideal for me. Because I wanted to capture all that beautiful chlorine and bring it in this room. Okay, so let's come over here and I really need to start like this is going to be where oh this is going to be where I'm getting my copper from because I'm starting to have a copper problem. So this this then it's one, two, three, four. Let's open this up. Open this up. Also open this up. Okay. We're going to be getting copper from here. Oh, there's a lot of copper over here. Is it not grabbing that copper? What did I make this out of? Yeah, copper ore. Insufficient copper ore. There is something weird here. How is this not reachable? Unreachable. How is it unreachable? Too high. Too high. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, that explains a lot of things that should solve some problems pretty soon. I can stop that so that we don't use power over here. And we have another stone hatch. Let me just check here. So that's eight, eight, seven. Yeah, I don't know why you're not getting grabbed. Oh, because for whatever reason, this is not set to this, and this is not set to... My sandstone is re... well, really low. It's still 112 ton, but it's it's a bit low comparing to other playthroughs that I've done. Okay, so let's just check what's the schedule right now. I'm mainly concerned... oh, ups up. I don't want you there. Up cutie, you're gonna go there. Oh my god, I forgot the whole dupe. Uh, you're going to go into operating right now. Let's check the other one. Ups up zoomy. We're going to give you one in building because you're a mechatronic. Rocket ups up. You're now a mechatronic engineer and a rocket pilot pretty soon. Ups up basic. You're also a mechatronic engineer. Mecha build. You're getting there slowly. Farmy. Oh, next level of farming. Crop tending. Digger. We're going to give you this cookie. I'm not touching you. Build to get you now. So this is a finished build, build to get, uh, except for the supplying. Okay. It's not a finished. I, I liked, and this is a building now that we're also going to give demolition to because that's very useful. Okay. So let's just check the schedule. Like I was saying, and Zupet can start incubating. So let's go and do this. And what's the status of this egg? Oh, this is... I'm going to need to ready up something for that soon. Okay, where's my Zupet again? Dude, you got to be doing the incubation. Like, these are priority 8, these are priority 9. So it makes no sense to me that you're doing the other ones first. Now you're in here, just do this, and that's it. I don't want you to do anything else. Technically, I prefer that you groom because the groom duration is longer, so I kind of screwed up. I should have taken up the mole. Anyway, we're not at seconds. Like, we need to just make sure that, oh, 47,000 kilogram of barbecue. Great, now you're allowed to leave. Okay, so let's just go check our achievement. Colony summary. And if I look at carnivore, we're at 337. Okay, so let's make the math on this. We've got, let's say we've got 20 cycles left. Okay, let's calculate 20 cycles. Right now, we've got 14 dupes, all eating a thousand calorie. Uh, let's say a thousand. Some are at 1500, but let's say a thousand. So that's 14,000 times 10. 
is 10 cycle. That's 140,000. Yeah, we're we're good. We're going to get that achievement, no problem. Once we get that achievement, though, we're going to not need to start diversifying our food a little bit, which is going to be good because you need to be careful with those things. Okay, so now I can deconstruct this and I can connect this. So we're going to start filling this up. And the reason I'm deconstructing this is that I'm going to put a little piece like that. And we're going to put a blob of water here. Okay, you're going to see that's not going to take long. So we build this first. And we fill this. We're going to close this off also. But okay, one of the reasons I'm not closing it off right now is I, I, I had to say it. Now I'm ready to close this off. Is that I wanted to get rid of all the oxygen that's in here. I want zero oxygen in here. This is going to be 100% just for... Um, or what's it called? For uh, chlorine. Oh my god. Words are hard. So let me just check this. Uh, now... Please. Please leave. Oh, thank you. Please... Right now, I'm just hoping that everything leaves this place. Okay, and I need to do another little thing that I forgot. Ventilation. You know what? Let's just put it like this for now. And we're going to bring you up like this. And we're going to have a gas pump right here. Okay, that is not true. I'm forgetting something. The gas pump is going to need to have... A filter unfortunately the reason we're going to need a filter is that in this situation I need to make 100% sure that we're only getting the chlorine okay so we're gonna go oh no like this and this is going to go right down here this okay so let's just prioritize these so I can start the filter and let's check what's going on here. Like, I really would prefer this blob of carbon to be on the other side, if I'm honest. I'm going to be very hopeful that it does that. No. Okay. So, I'm going to show you a quick trick, okay? I'm going to deconstruct... This is going to be painful. I'm going to deconstruct these two. And I'm going to make this, like, a super high priority, okay? Let me show you how you get rid of a blob of carbon that you do not want. Then I'm going to build this right here, very high priority. You trap it. And then you do this and you let this guy die. Come on. Someone build this, please, so we can save this guy. So, we destroyed the block of carbon. Then we can say deconstruct these two ultra super high emergency. And rebuild this. Oh, that was scary. And rebuild this super high priority. But we got rid of our carbon blob. So now in here, there's only oxygen. Not a single piece of carbon or oxygen. Oh, only chlorine, sorry. Which means once this is pumping, we'll be able to start pumping in here. We're going to say liquid brine nine enable auto bottle. And how much is this? So this is a solid liquid lock. We can also stop this. So we're going to go right here and cut this off. And this one is going to be on chlorine gas. Oh, this is so great. Come on. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to bring a little layer of brine and that little layer of brine is going to make it so that this gas fan can output forever. Yeah, you know what? Just give me my brine, please. I hate doing these priority thing and I usually don't care all that much i don't really do them all that much but when you're recording like i want this to happen now it's like come on what are you doing dude just just prep my stuff
I really have no clue what's going on with my Brian. Do I not have access to Brian? What's going on? Oh! This is no longer accessible. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to check on things. You know, just, just a little bit of checking just to make sure. Anyway, so we're doing this right now. We're going to be able to... Come on. We're going to get a little bit of Brian in here. And you know what? To do this. Yeah. So let's just get the brine. Please, guys. Yeah, this is done. This is accessible. Someone's got to bring the brine. Come on. <laughs> this is almost a joke. Okay, we've got the brine. So, do this, and how much is on the ground right now? That's enough. Take it out. And so, technically... Okay, so now we have too much. So, here's the trick. We're going to do this rush. We're going to reduce the speed, because we just want one little moppy mop. I think this guy is coming. Farming's coming for a little moppy mop. Cancel. And voila. Okay, so as you can see, we've got one kilogram of brine right here. Which means that even though here the chlorine is at two, well, it's not at two kilogram everywhere, but these gas vents, they stop operating at two kilogram usually. Okay, but now it's going to be able to fill this room with chlorine forever okay this is basically just going to be infinite chlorine it's just going to pump you know what construct 11 I just can't believe I'm doing this but and then put it back Oof. okay so now this room is going to fill with chlorine so we're going to pump all of this chlorine the Carbon dioxide is going to go down here. The chlorine is going to go in here. This chlorine is going to come down here. So we're going to empty this whole place of chlorine. To make sure that this happens, we're also going to help the flow of oxygen by doing this. And we're going to go right here. And we're going to remove this. We're going to have an output of oxygen right here. So that this place fills with oxygen. And yeah. So we, we would like to have some oxygen on this side also. But that can wait till later. For now let's just not touch this. Okay. Perfect. So since there's a filter. I don't have to be concerned about this. Chlorine is lighter than carbon dioxide. So it stays on top. I'm probably going to want to move that pump way down toward the end. But this is going well. Oh, and by the way, I can now mop all of this up. Yeah, mop all of this up. And what I'm going to do is build that wall that I talked about. So let's also do this. Let's go see what we received. Okay, I'm going to take the pip eggs. Can I... I don't have any arbor tree though, so I have no way of feeding the pip. Let me just check something. If I come here to the database and I see pip. What do pip eat? They can eat tumbleweed. That's awful. They, okay, until I have an arbor tree, there's no point taking pip eggs, so I'm just going to take those. Okay, so let that finished. This is all going well. Right now, my base cleanup is really in a good place. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to remove this. Remove this. I'm going to make those like just normal tiles. But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to close this off and just keep one exit of oxygen. Okay, so I'm going to start, what I'm starting to do right now is what I'm call 
what I'm calling closing off the base and isolating it. I'm going to start to build so that I can fully enclose that base in uh, insulated tile all around so that I can have a control on temperature. Now, if you look here, this place is getting really, really toasty. Like, I don't like that it's that toasty. We're going to have to reduce the heat, but we have really cold brine here and really cold polluted water here. So we're going to be able to take care of that. That's not going to be an issue. Uh, perfect. So right here now I can put a vent. Ventilation. I'm going to put a gas vent right here. So we're going to have oxygen in here. That's going to flow down here. So it's going to let all it's going to force all of that chlorine gas down, which is what I want. Ideally, I would have that on this side too, but yeah, not really. So right now, by the way, I'm making a mistake. I don't need that filter anymore. Let's deconstruct that filter. It's using power. The reason I don't need that filter is that there will never be anything other than hydrogen in here. So now, the moment that this is completely destroyed, we can do this. We're good. So I'm going to now use this with some slight with some granite and I'm going to go like this I'm going to put an output right here to push this chlorine down perfect oh things are looking sweet now we're fixing some of our mistake we're bringing back everything online this is looking really really good uh, you know what I'm going to also be doing? Opening up the water. So let's come right over here. And let's open up this water. I think this might be a bad idea. Let's, yeah, let's keep that one. Come on. I want the water to start flowing down. Great. And we're going to do this and this and this. Oh, -ho! barbecue, please. And let's just check my food to make sure we're at 45,000 barbecue. Yeah, so barbecue. I, I'm honestly, I'm going to say barbecue is no longer feeling like a concern. I, I got worried for a little while, but now we're doing really good. And now I'm going to open up this water right here and we've got all of this little bit of water and we've got a good reserve of water and this is oh seven kilograms so this is just amazingly perfect on yeah so here's what we're going to do next now i can deconstruct this and i'm going to build a mesh tile right here in a moment and we're going to solve our slime problem Let's just check on this. I want to make sure that it's going to flow properly. Yo, come on. Just finish the job, please. Okay, so I don't have to check this. I can let it just sink all to the bottom here. And you know what? <laughs> I think this might go higher than I thought it would. So let's just close this to make sure. But we're going to let all of this water drain. And honestly... If it wasn't 68 degree, I would also let all of this water drain down here. We're going to have to do something with this water. And the something is going to be to cool it down with these water. But I'm keeping these water for something. Oh, so many things to do. <gasps> they finished this. Um, If I'm honest, I'm super excited about this. This is so cool. Okay, so we're going to do this and this because we need a little bit of iron. So this is iron here. Oh, this is a whole bunch of iron. Okay, so we'll just let that do its thing. We've got the water. This is going to empty. So at some point, I'm going to come and mop this up. And then I'm going to come to mop this up. But that can be later. So now, if I'm looking at everything, let's go and do some incubation. Where's Optimal? Let's look at the schedule. Where's Upnamol? Upnamol is right here. So vitals, Upnamol, move to 
You're coming near, dude. Come on. Let's come and do your job. We're not going to let you out. We're not going to let Zupet in. Great. They'll have to set up that little ranch for the... Ooh, ooh. We've got our first Grub Grub egg. So this is interesting, though. So let me just check the status here. It's got four critter. So I'm going to take this Sweetle egg and move it here. And the Grub Grub egg, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to move it here. Okay. And I'm going to... Oh, no. No, no, no. Forget that. That's, that's for later. I don't need that right now because this is not the right plant. Okay, so that's going to be for later. And I never took care of this Draco, which is something I'm going to have to start looking into now. Oh, so many things to do. Okay, I need to decide what's my next priority. My next priority is I'm going to be breaking out into space. So I'm going to have to handle the space situation. And you know what? Let's let's do this. Let's dig all of that and all of that. And the reason we're doing this is that we want, oh, we're going to stop you until we get some more hydrogen. So basically, and we're going to bring you lower like here. Okay. And we're going to construct you. So basically, I'm moving to the new lower point. This is kind of the new lower point. And I'm just going to let all of this gas escape down. Okay. I'm going to let this escape down. I'm going to break this. I'm, I'm basically going to dig this whole side. And we've got another achievement. Which one is it? Ta-da! Carnivore done with 19 cycles remaining. And as you guys saw, I never took any extra barbecue. I never took any extra meat, I never took any extra hatch, and I never took any extra hatchling. And I was able to do this with 14 dupes within uh, 70, 81 cycles, okay? So it's always doable. It's just a question of, are you starting on time? If you take too long to start, honestly, you're going to be screwed. But if you do it at a reasonable time, you should always be good. Okay, so right here, uh, I would prefer not to dig this out. So, okay, I'm going to wait for this, for things to calm down before I dig this out. And this is another trick you can do. If you put this really high priority, you can do uh, stop uh, gap digging. So he's almost done. Stop. Set the next one. Oh, it didn't work. So sometimes what they're going to do is just take the next task. So you do this, take the next task, take the next task. Voila. So this is like this is something that I often do when I just want to get rid of a section quickly. Also, we're going to be digging this right here, but we can get like I want all of these gas to get out. And basically, I'm going to let the hydrogen. <gasps> I forgot to let him out. Dumbass. OK, so this is really an emergency. So I'm going to go M11. I'm going to go like this because i i uh okay so there's no place for it to go so it wasn't as an emergency as i thought it was but the concern is that it goes down here and then it goes into your water source so that's why i was concerned so i'm going to restart you but that was a bad forget now let's so now it really okay we're done No, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So now we're going to remove this and now it's time to replace everything with a with our stone hatch. Like I want to be on stone hatch. What I want is to get two full wrench with stone hatch. Okay? So I want two full wrench with stone hatch and I think that's going to be enough. I don't think I'm going to be keeping more than that. And maybe I'm going to keep one wrench with normal hatch. Okay. 
And what we're going to need to do, I need another wrench somewhere. Like I, I need a little side wrench. Does that fit here? Oh, yes, that does fit here. Okay, so we're going to go do this, this and this, and then we're going to go in this. You, you, you. Oh. oh, this is... Okay, this doesn't work here because I can't do the trick to enclose them. Um, here? Do I need this ladder? I do not need this ladder. So I'm going to deconstruct this building right here. I do not need this power. So I'm going to deconstruct this power wire. I don't need these liquid pipes, so now I'm going to go liquid and deconstruct. And I'm going to deconstruct all of these liquid pipe. Okay? So now I'm going to be able to go two doors here. This, and then it's going to be... Let's just copy all of this. You, you... And it's time to mop all of this up. Like this. Perfect. So this is going to be where my next wrench is. And this. Okay, so I want the water out of here. Oh, it's doing it itself. Are they doing it themselves? Yeah, they're picking up the water. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to close this off. I never noticed that I had all of this food right here. Let's just go dig in here. Not that it's important that I get that food, but might as well dig this place out. This, like this. This perfect. So that's going to be my smooth hatch wrench. That's where I'm going to put my smooth hatch. Right here. And I'm going to fill this with copper. So smooth hatch. Right here. Copper. Perfect. Let's make this a bit of a higher priority because I want to make sure it's always ready. And we're going to room it. I hate having wires in weird places, so I'm going to fix that. I'm also going to be doing this right here because I forgot this one. This. Ceiling light right here. Then I need an automation wire right here. Critter smooth hatches. And I'm going to say three, I think. Three can fit in here. 48. So it could be four if I didn't have the two doors here. So three is the max. Great. So now the moment that this is done, you need to get killed. You also need to get killed. And I'm going to need to make a space for another stone hatch in here. Oh, this one. Oh, no. See, 74%. 63%, 84%, 90%. Okay, so none of these atch needs to get killed. What's this one right here? 54 for 55. This is really micromanaging. And honestly, at this point, I don't really need to be doing that level of micromanaging. It's just, I hate killing an atch. That's like still really good to use. That's like a habit of mine. Let's come right over here, and we don't want any of these. We'll take the gold. Thank you. Okay. So this should be good. It should bring the hatch right here at some point. Let's just lower the priority on those. Okay. 
this though i want you to be here right now so let's put that to nine you know what i can now reconnect you because you're now fully in carbon dioxide oh this is so nice things are cleaning up beautifully this and this and this Uh, right here. And next level is here. Just need to finish dig. Like, like I'm saying, now we have to start just doing a little bit of cleanup. And this is just going to give us more resources and are just going to prep stuff for the next phase. We're going to have to open up this whole section pretty soon. Just do now this one. One, two, three, four. Uh, you know what? Let's go across with that one. Just issuing a couple of command so that they always have something to do, but this is going to stay lower priority. No longer need any of this food, so I can eliminate all of this. And this. This. Nope. Let's remove this. Great! Uh, we're also going to want to get this across. I, there's so much cleanup to do, but this is now all easy cleanup because this is all in oxygen. This is all very close to my base. So these are the kind of operation that goes super fast. So let's just go across like this. This is almost done. Cut across like this so that we're able to do this. Cut across like this so we're able to do this. Okay, good. So now let's go concentrate on other things. Again, we're back to getting into oxygen. So I'm going to cut this off. Oh, look at that beautiful chlorine. It's all settling to the bottom. And I'll be able to just continue. Where is this at? So this is going slowly, but that's okay. It doesn't need to go super fast as long as it's getting built. Okay, let's take a step back and what would be my next step? So we're done with locavore. I'm going to have to start thinking of making other foods. So now, uh, one of the greatest food in this game, in my opinion, are these spindly grub fruit that can be made into a grub fruit preserve. The problem is that it requires sulfur and we don't have a lot of sulfur, but the next planet is going to solve that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start setting up for it. So what I'm right here, I'm going to take these hydroponic farms. Let me just check these. I want to check the condition of growth. So for grub fruit, we need air pressure. Good. We need atmosphere. We need a good body temperature and we need sulfur. So we don't even need water. We don't need any liquid which is kind of why one this is one of the good food so if i come right here and i go to farm tile and technically do all of these into farm tiles let me just check the shipping if i do the shipping right here oh this is going to work beautifully so one shipping right here and I have a finger on my screen like that's how I remember these you can't see it but at the edge of the where it goes I have a finger there perfect so there's an overlap the overlap is super important okay because we're going to use that overlap to put sulfur here and make it distribute on every side correctly so we're going to have an in and an out and we're going to talk about something very important about these conveyor loader, okay? Because this, it needs to talk to only one of the two part of the conveyor loader. We're going to get to that in a moment. So let me tell you. 
And as I'm killing them, I'm not going to replace them. So you here, remove, cancel. I'm not replacing you and I don't need to put anything in you. You know what? Remove. And we're not going to replace you. And that's going to be it for now, I think. So incubating. Let's give this a go. We just want to get our stone hatch soon. Although we have so much sandstone, there really is no rush in replacing them. Zupet, you're staying in here. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to check him so that I don't let him pee everywhere. Oh, there's still pee over here. Huh. That's kind of annoying. I need to turn you off. And I'm waiting for the smooth hatch to be taken care of. Come on. Power's taking a while to get there, though. Perfect. So now you can escape. Okay, let's come back here. So we have water here, so we're good on that front. Uh, the little... Let's go check. The little hatch has started the down the hatch achievement. So down the hatch. Right here. Zero ton. <laughs> So it only counts in ton. So it hasn't done a lot yet. And if we're looking at super sustainable, we're at 36,000 of 240. We're not even a fifth of the way there because power production is not the easiest thing ever. Okay, so I'm looking at this. This is all looking good. We're almost out. So the next solution is going to be uh, water cooling and water cooling things and getting water uh oh my god material science is going to be the next thing so you know what this episode was really just like a big base overall like a lot of projects cleaning up left and right and let's just plant our stuff right here plant eat copy settings okay so this was just like rearranging we start tearing this place out which means that we're now going to be able to tear this side of the base uh, this is always useful because as we start getting projects where we need space to do stuff we're going to have the space and you know what next episode we're going to get into material science and we're going to get into draco wrenching just let me cut all of this off and this too And you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm just going to tag a little bit of a time lapse to this here. And I'm just going to let them clean this up and build this. And I, I want to start letting these gas out so that they settle at the bottom. But I want them to settle at the bottom here. So I'm going to open it up from this side over here. And I'm going to make sure to go down this way too. Oh yes, this is this is a really good idea. So I'm going to go like this. I'm not going to go through here because I don't want any gas to be in here. But I'm going to go down like this here. So this should be a sink. And I'm going to make sure like that this is a like a wider sink. I'm going to go like this and I'm going to go just open everything up here so that everything can start going down here because anyway we're going to want to have access to our supply teleporter uh, like i said next episode is going to be applied science a material science like the nuclear one and after that we're going to go to the next planet okay so i'm going to have all of this i'm just going to time out and core this out and make us like a pit down here and once i've got the pit i'm going to just open this so that hopefully the gas are going to go just this way. I don't want any gas in my base. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm also going to close this right here. And I'm going to close this right here. And I'm going to try it like just to make sure that it's harder for the gas to go where I don't want them to go. Yeah, that should be good. I'm also going to cut across all of this. like this and like i said so now honestly guys time for my time lapse it's going to be a small thing but i just want to get a couple of cleanup projects done guys thanks for watching 
and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!